To the White House tonight and new reporting here on the Russia investigation. Special counsel Robert Mueller and his new steps suggesting President Trump's own actions are now under scrutiny, including his firing of FBI Director James Comey and the meeting with Russian officials in the Oval Office the very next day. ABC's chief White House correspondent Jonathan Carl with what he's learned tonight. Tonight, the clearest indication yet, special counsel Robert Mueller is looking into the actions of President Trump himself. As the New York Times first reported, Mueller has requested White House documents surrounding the president's Oval Office meeting with Russian officials the day after he fired FBI Director James Comey. Trump reportedly told the Russians, quote, I faced great pressure because of Russia. That's taken off. The next day, he publicly acknowledged the Russian investigation was on his mind when he fired Comey. When I decided to just do it, I said to myself, I said, you know, this Russia thing with Trump and Russia is a made-up story. Mueller also wants documents concerning the response to the news that the president's son, Don Jr., met with Russian operatives during the campaign. At the time, the White House insisted the meeting was only about Russian adoptions, and the president publicly defended his son. My son is a wonderful young man. But emails show the meeting was set up, quote, to provide the Trump campaign with some official documents and information that would incriminate Hillary. We later learned the president was directly involved in crafting that first misleading response. And John Carl with us here in New York today. And we learned something else today, that the legal bills for the president and his son are being paid for with donations made by uh, everyday Americans to the Republican National Committee. How unusual is that? Well, it's perfectly legal, but it is highly unusual, if not unprecedented, for a political party to pay the personal legal bills of a president and his family. And we're talking about $230,000 for Donald Trump's lawyers and another 200000 nearly 200000 to Don Jr.'s lawyers. All the more notable, David, because in this case, the president is a billionaire. John Carl with us here in New York. John, thanks as always. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.